Hi there, and welcome to class. Uh, I am Mr. Darrell. And I'm Mr. Alex. And today we are going to be talking about a book called Wonder, and it was written by R.J. Palacio. And just like the lessons that we were learned in Huckleberry Finn last week, there are many lessons to be learned in this story as well. Now, the author, R.J. Palacio, she went to a high school of art and design, and in fact, she majored in art and design as well. So, from the outset, she's always been a very creative uh, author. Yes, uh, she had a, a hand in visual arts as well. Uh, there are two key moments that uh, brought this story out from her. She, uh, she has a son, and the son and her were... Uh, somewhere where they ran into a uh, obviously physically disadvantaged child and her son started crying in public she was she was embarrassed by that and she thought that she better take the son out of the situation quickly however uh, she admits that that made it worse that made the entire thing worse because the other family with the the disadvantaged child uh, knew what was happening and then that girl felt bad as well so feeling bad, she went home, the author, she went home and she, she was thinking about it, she was thinking about it and she heard a song, she, there was a song that came on the radio called Wonder yeah. and this song's lyrics really spoke to her and it was about the same topic as well, it was about a disadvantaged child. She put the two together, she put this event and the song together and she had her story uh, and it uh, wrote itself after that. Fascinating. Now, the setting of Wanda, it's a very modern setting mm. um, and it takes place in North River Heights in Manhattan in New York in a school called Beecher Prep. And the modern day setting of this book makes this book very relatable. Um, August, the uh, main character in this book, he loves Star Wars, he loves playing his video games and um, when we read this it's something that feels very real to us, like it really could happen. Yes, the setting, uh, it feels like a typical school, it feels like something you as the reader uh, can relate to. It could be your school, uh, you might face the situation one day and uh, that, that is a testament to its universal uh, appeal and I think it can happen to anyone and it can happen at any time. And that, that is one of the strengths of the book. Absolutely. Another strength of the book for me is the style. And the style of the book is very interesting because it is written from lots of different perspectives. So sometimes the book will be writing from August's perspective and sometimes the book will be writing from let's, Jack's perspective, who is August's friend. Yeah, uh, we've looked at different styles of, of, of uh, conveying a story before. Uh, here we have the multiple person perspectives uh, uh, um, uh, device. And how effective is this in telling the story? Uh, it can bring out our empathy and our sympathy, two different, top, two different words that are very important to, to uh, understand. Empathy, uh, Alex, is when you, you feel, you can put yourself in the shoes or in the mindset of the other person so that you, you, can, you can sort of imagine how they would feel and then you can feel that yourself. Sympathy is when, when you yourself uh, feel uh, emotions or feel sorry for someone else. Uh, both uh, key, key uh, terms that we want to, to, to to, to explain today and I think that this style works really well for that. And I think this is also reflective of something that the, that the author wants to do and a lot of this story it's about bullying. Bullying which is quite a big problem in the world and she believes the best way to deal with this is by having everyone involved in the conversation. Mm -hmm. That we all listen to each other, we all understand each other. So the style in a way it's, it's like that. The style shows us everyone's perspective and we get to understand everyone as well and it gives us a better understanding of the story as a whole. We might, we might explain this a bit more but Eve, she even pay, gives Julian mm. uh, in a separate book actually a, in a sequel of sorts that she wrote to, the, to this book she gives Julian the bully 
the bully uh, his own voice. So she looks at uh, everything through his eyes. And then we, we can sort of, at that point, empathize with Julian a little bit, even though he is a bully. Yeah. And people become bullies for a reason yes. as well. And yeah. we need to understand that as well. Yeah. Because the best way to help a bully is to... Understand. To him. understand them, yeah. And literature works well for that, to put yourself in the shoes of another. Absolutely. Now, the main character, August, uh, when asked, the author said that he has um, Treacher Collins syndrome. And this syndrome causes major disfigurations to the face. Mm. So your muscles don't grow properly and your skin doesn't grow properly. So it makes your face look quite different to other people's. Um, what kind of difficulties do you think this might cause for August? Well, you can't be yourself. Uh, you're always uh, the object of attention, no matter, no matter where you go. Uh, wherever you, you go, you are commented on, you are pointed out, you are... Uh, stared at. Yes, stared at. And even if they mean well, they can't help but notice you. And if you're always in the spotlight like, like that, you, you don't have private time. You don't have individual time. And what's essential for growing as a person is that individual private time where you, you can hide yourself away and you can be yourself in, 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 uh, in the comfort of your own uh, um, uh, space. But what I, what I respect so much about August's character that despite all of these things that happen, he gets used to people staring at him. He accepts that's just the way it is. But not only that, he has a good sense of humour and he uses humour to deal with the condition that he has. There's a really good example when he becomes friends with Summer and Summer is one of the first pe uh, pupils at mm. Beecher Prep to be nice to him. When they become friends, he says, we're like Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. He is able to make fun of, of how he is and he realises that he shouldn't take life too seriously. So he, he's, he's on to the right step. Uh, uh, we can say that at least. He's not, he, he's not lost by any means. Absolutely. Now, another really important theme in this book is family. And August's family, he's got his mum, his dad and his sister. And this is an incredibly loving family. This is a family that supports him. But of course, this family encounters many difficulties as well. For example, August needs to have multiple um, operations, um, which obviously will cause lots of worry for his family. But also, um, August, um, they're always worried that August will get bullied at school, that he'll be mistreated by others. And that can be a terrible experience for any parent. Yes, uh, but uh, essentially family is there to support. And um, August, I think August, uh, succeeds in the end because of the strength that his family gives him and uh, well, that is one of the major themes of the book perhaps that family no matter who it's composed of as you might be able to speak mm -hmm. on uh, it, it, it nonetheless is the best support structure you can ever have and not just family but relationships and family doesn't just need to be people you're related to it might be your friends I know in I know in Georgia that when two guys are friends, you call each other brothers, you call each other zmao, and it's, it's, you use a familial term to I identify with each other. So it doesn't just need to be blood-related uh, family, it can also be friends who can be family as well. Yes, yes. Now, another really uh, big um, theme in this book is conflict, mm -hmm. and there's lots of examples of conflict in this book. Uh, the prime example, I suppose, is the conflict that August has with people who treat him badly, the people who are his bullies, the people that call him a freak on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, but we can look at the positive now. Uh, yeah. what, what conflict does is it opens up the space for uh, bravery to come through. And uh, this book is also filled with characters who perhaps at the beginning are not so brave, but who become brave by the, uh, by, by, by getting to know August. And so his presence makes, transforms them. Uh, yeah, and a good example of this in the book is Jack, his friend Jack, who at the beginning of the book, he's, Jack is quite popular in his school. Um, but when he becomes friends with August, he starts becoming less popular. 
And there's one point in the book where this boy, Julian, who's the most popular boy in the school, says something really horrible about August. And Jack basically punches him. And as a result, Jack loses all his friends. But at the same time, he does the right thing. Yes. Uh, in Not to say that uh, hitting people is the right thing to oh, do, yeah. but, he, but he still stands yeah. up for the right thing. Yeah. Uh, rather than run away, he uh, transforms himself and he, he develops the right uh, response to show in this situation. So yes, bravery is, is one of the main uh, themes we can say um, in this book. And there's also um, a conflict going on inside August himself the conflict between staying at home and going to school, letting the bullies get to him, or basically not caring what these people say because what they say is unimportant. There's also an inner conflict going on there. Yeah, and there's, there's a small topic of popularity as well. So, as you mentioned, Julian is the most popular boy in school. Uh, Jack is a popular boy in school. Uh, for them, it's been easy to become popular. They, 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 they're probably good looking uh, and athletic or sporty and they can win friends easily. There's nothing wrong with them physically uh, either. Mm -hmm. But uh, for Augie, uh, or August as he is as he's known, uh, he has to win the respect of his peers and um, he becomes popular, but I, I would suggest in, in a much more difficult way and a much more uh, worthwhile way as well. He and attains popularity through, through winning the respect of his peers. And there's a really good example of this at the end of the book when August goes to summer camp with Jack. And August and, and, and Jack are in, they go into the forest. And suddenly they're approached by these six older boys who August has never met before. And these six older boys are really horrible to him. They start calling him a freak, look at you. Uh, all this sort of stuff. So Jack goes up to them and says, stop saying those horrible things. And then one of the boys pushes Jack over. So as you can see in the picture, August puts up his fists. He's up against four, guy, um, four people, but nevertheless, he doesn't care if they're gonna hurt him. Um, he stands up for himself. And what happens next is um, other boys from August school mm -hmm. see this, boys who aren't friends with August, boys who have been not very kind to August, but when they see August do this, they gain respect for August and they come and help August and they actually manage to scare away these older students. That neatly ties in uh, all, the th all the kind of themes we talked about there, bravery, uh, winning respect and uh, conflict uh, being, being a cause of, uh, of all of these things. Uh, that scene is, is great just, just for that reason alone. Absolutely. And now, um, tied to conflict and family is the theme of sacrifice and there's many examples of the of sacrifice in this novel but um, the specific example that comes to mind is the sacrifice that has to be committed by Olivia and the sacrifice she has to commit is she has to give up all the attention from her parents because obviously her parents have to give most of their, or at least more of their attention to August because he needs it more. And what I respect about Olivia so much is she understands that August needs the attention. Uh, we, we also have her friend, um, Miranda, yep. who uh, symbolizes the sacrifice, sacrificial aspect of the book uh, very well. She. Uh, I'll let you explain a bit more, but she uh, she is the one that at a crucial point in, in the book where she stands to gain the most attention, the most uh, praise, and the most uh, the highest things that she can get at that mm. school. She gives it up uh, for a reason. And the way she gives it up is um, when she has the main part in the school play, and Olivia is uh, her understudy, um, and. So Miranda is about to go out on stage and she looks out into the audience, she has a peek and she can see um, August and his parents. Um, and by the way, she really loves August. Mm. She loves him a lot. Yes. And then suddenly she, she has this feeling. She has this feeling and then she runs straight to Olivia and she says, Olivia, I feel really sick. I think that you should play the main part tonight and not me. Mm -hmm. Of course, she doesn't feel sick. She feels guilty because she has lost a really important friend in Olivia. 
and she commits this sacrifice perhaps to show her love to Olivia, uh, maybe. Yeah. The sacrifice actually heals the friendship. Uh, they had lost, uh, they had lost contact with, with each other throughout the book and that sacrifice brings them back, back on the path towards uh, a close friendship. Now, the impact of this book is huge. Obviously, there, there was a Hollywood movie which gained lots and lots of attention. Yeah. But specifically, there was a... Um, um, they had an anti-bullying campaign that was created as a result of this book, where the author and some of the actors of the film would go into schools and they would discuss this book with the children. And the key idea behind this book that was explained to the children and the students was that the most important thing about a person is their character and not the way that they look. Mm -hmm. uh, though the, the Choose Kind meetings were, were great, they were, they were enacting their favorite moments from the book and I think that was, that was, that was uh, a brainwave on the part of the author to, to, to arrange those meetings to sort of give more yeah. contact between the readers of the book to sort of take what they've learned from the book and put it into practice. I think there's something that we can all learn from this novel and on that note we should end it there mm -hmm. thank you all for joining thank you all for listening and we will see you next friday thank you thank you <laughs>